What's going on, everybody? This is twitch.tv slash ESPN Esports. I am the host that does the most, Ardo Cal. Happy to be joined live on Twitch by the hammer himself, <laughs> the self-proclaimed but backs it up greatest NBA player playing Call of Duty, Myers Leonard himself, who has a very busy day ahead of him, and he's starting it off by doing an interview with us. You're going to be live for 24 hours, Myers. That is true. Yes, indeed. I will be live for 24 hours. Um, this is my first ever 24-hour live stream. I have been streaming on Twitch for well over a year now, but I'm excited. I'm very, very excited. So what made you want to do? I mean, obviously, we have more time on our hands now as we're practicing safe social distancing and self-quarantining, but why a 24-hour stream? What makes you want to stay live for an entire day with maybe no breaks? Who knows? You know what? Um, I think... It's, it's a few things. Number one, like you said, there's no NBA, there's no, there's no sports period. So everyone, you know, my wife and I have been um, socially distant for, for quite a while now, just because obviously we're, we're not wanting to get the virus. But um, the more interesting thing for me is I, I do take streaming on Twitch and gaming uh, very seriously. And it's, it's always been a passion of mine. And so the crossover with the ability to continue to interact with fans now that there are no sports and even prior to that, I, the, the number one thing I love about it is, is the gaming side, of course, but interacting with fans. So I think there's a there's another piece to it, though. There, there's a bit of, um, you know, maybe I need to ask some of the OGs, but uh, it's kind of like a badge of honor. I don't know. Like if you can crank a 24 hour live stream, I feel like you're pretty legit in the Twitch world, you know, so that that's that's one other thing. And then the lastly. And the main the main goal here and the most important piece of this is that um, I have partnered with uh, Feeding America, Feeding South Florida, uh, a few different sponsors. And um, for the last week or so, we've really been putting together a pretty fun run of events. And the goal is to raise enough money to feed one million people in the month of April. And, and this is the first event. Uh, it, I'll have three more events, which will be every every following Sunday of April. But obviously today, April 5th, uh, from 1 p.m. until tomorrow at 1 p.m., I will be live and uh, bringing high-level content and high-level energy. So you're doing it all for a good cause. And you're right. There is a badge of honor there. To say that you've completed a 24-hour stream, that perks people up, right? That's, that's an accomplishment. So Myers is going to endeavor to do this for the next 24 hours, just like he said on his channel, twitch.tv slash Myers Leonard, M-E-Y-E-R-S, by the way. So what can we expect? Give us, give us a sneak peek. What can people expect? Who's going to be taking part? Okay, so yeah, uh, I got a few NBA buddies coming through. Um, you know, this is all... Uh, everything is scheduled, but you, you know, sometimes <laughs> things are, you know, subject to change, but I should have, uh, my good buddies who have played in the, um, NBA call to call, excuse me, call of duty tournaments, uh, the last three weeks, uh, Darren Fox and Josh Hart will be joining me for war zone. Um, cloak and symphony will be joining me for some war zone. Uh, I will be making a switch over to Fortnite early tomorrow morning. Um, Oh, wow. Okay. Oh yeah. With, with phase replays, my buddy Franco, um let's see i i do plan to throw a scary game in there that's one thing i've yet to do live on twitch and to be fair this kind of um hammer personality of sorts let me just tell you if i get scared live there's there's no telling what's going to come out or how much energy is going to um <laughs> explode from my body so um i i think that that'll be fun a lot of people have asked me about that and then there, there's some other things now we've we've um you know i'm using a platform called tiltify to to do the fundraising and there's there's a bunch of incentives i've got a ton of i mean unbelievable giveaways uh shout out to my friends at astro uh shout out to the people at pit viper sunglasses so i mean i've got headsets i've got uh xbox consoles um miami vice wave jerseys uh old kobe's you know rest in peace kobe Bryant. but i got yeah. some kobe's i want to give away etc so i got some really fun giveaways and also some very fun of uh, kind of milestones of sorts um, where if we reach, I believe $75,000, uh, I'll dye my hair any color of the, well, there's, I think there's pink, orange, green, and blue. And then if we get to the full 175, I'll shotgun a beer on stream, which by the way, no one can touch me in a chug. It's never happened. It, it never will. Okay. <laughs> I'm a beer drinking master. 
um, amongst other things, you know, like um, a TikTok dance and Myers does a hundred curls on stream. So uh, we, it's going to be, it's going to be action packed. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I, I just look forward to seeing everybody there because it's all going towards a good cause. Do you have a hair color preference? You know, I thought about that. Um, you know, I do need a haircut. Admittedly, my guy um, got busy and, you know, obviously this, this uh, distancing thing makes it a little odd, uh, but I do take pride in the flow. So uh, I would, I would get a nice, a nice, beautiful fade uh, with the flow up top. And, and I don't know, I, I, I honestly think I can rock any of them. Um, so it, honestly, it's, it's what the fans want. So that, that, again, another thing, a milestone incentive, you know, what, what color do you, what color hair do you want Mars to have? So I, I don't think anything obnoxious would phase you at all. In fact, you would thrive. The more obnoxious the color, I feel like you would thrive more. I mean, for example, let's just let's just do this here live. Okay. Take the headset off. We're gonna go here. These are kind of Miami Vice wave colors. <laughs> See, if my hair were pink or blue, it would tie in with the pit vibers. Are you know those, what I'm saying? Are those the same uh, sunglasses that Elle was wearing in her promo video? Yeah. Uh, wow. Great. Uh, great catch. Yes, they are. Okay. Uh, I, I also have the gaming version here. I got I got a green and blue. I mean, I literally have like 20 pairs of pit vipers. I've been <laughs> I've been um, a big fan of their brand and their products for um, probably uh, two plus years now, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, they were like, "Yeah, we'd love to, we'd love to help." So I'll, I'll release all that information, but the, but they are throwing down a donation and um, discount code. So nice. I, I'm just I'm so thankful for everybody who's involved and and you guys and just this this is going to be awesome. Salt Salt talks easy in the chat says Arda do a chug off not a chance. <laughs> I do not believe I would have any chance against you. Maybe maybe whiskey, but okay. definitely not a chug off. Not a okay. chance. Okay. Not a chance. Not a yeah. chance. Uh, but enough. feel free to throw questions in the chat because I'm going to be checking that out for the next hour here while we hang out with Myers as he prepares for his 24 hour stream. So you talked about how. Uh, the 24 hour stream is like a badge of honor, right? Did mm. you talk to any streamers that have done it? What kind of advice did they give you? Oh yeah. I mean, I've, uh, I talked to gold glove Goldie. Um, okay. and we've been playing in the, uh, fight to fund phase clan event, which also has gone towards COVID-19 relief. And he was like, bro, he literally texted me last night. He's like, I can't wait to come in at hour 18 and see a zombified hammer. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so he was like, look, you're going to do it because you have the mentality to do it. But I, I've heard not only from Goldie, but a few others that it, it is very difficult. But you know what? It's all going towards a good cause. And if I'm going to call myself the hammer, I better, better be able to do it. That's fair enough. What, uh, like how, what will the schedule look like? Are you, are you trying to go, are you compartmentalizing when you take your breaks are you going to try and go as long as you can before taking one break? Like, how have you done the time management in your head? Um, okay, explain breaks for me, in your opinion. Oh, you're, you're not even thinking breaks. See, I'm thinking, okay, so here, here's, here's where I'm coming from. If you try to break a Guinness World Record, and sure. I looked this up. Let's say you want to break the Guinness World Record for longest video game played, right? Okay, yep. They actually give you leeway by the hour. So once you complete 60 minutes, you actually get a 10-minute break. So you whoa, could whoa, whoa, whoa. bank that. What? Yeah. Listen, so like, brother, listen, this is our first time talking here, okay? Let me tell you yeah. something. That's uh -huh. soft. <laughs> soft. S-O-F-T. Soft. The hammer will not be partaking in any type of leisurely break. If I need to go to the bathroom, sure. If I need to get a little food, I'll eat it on stream, okay? This will be 24 hours of high-level content. I am here to tell you, this is no joke. This I, I I will crank through. There's no question about it. Uh, there's no there's no. Oh, I'm gonna go take a a, a ten minute break, guys. I'll be back. No, ain't gonna happen. I uh, I mean now I'm tuning in. I'm gonna be tuning in throughout, but definitely those last few hours, I need to see what the hammer looks like at hour okay. nineteen. Okay. Wow. Love it. Have you changed your sleep schedule at all? Like, how did you how did you prepare this? Like, did you did you change anything? Did you get extra sleep? Like, what'd you do? Uh, I've gotten a, a honestly. I'll just say this for 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 uh, for people that are accustomed to being on the phone and emails all day long. Shout out to them because I'm used to getting up, working out, you know, grinding physically, and <laughs> and there's the mental aspect of sports. But let me tell you something. Being on the phone all day long, answering emails, um, I completely revamped my Twitch profile. So that's that's been a process. New overlays, new alerts, uh, new panels, everything. 
you know, just the, the it's very time intensive, I have to say. And so uh, I've actually not gotten a ton of sleep the last week, but the last two nights I did make sure uh, I slept enough. But again, uh, listen, this is all between the ears, period. You either got it or you don't, you know, it's kind of like one of those things. And let me tell you, I got it. <laughs> I think that's completely fair to say. You have a really sweet streaming setup too. You've posted pictures, but like, tell, tell us what you're working with there. Sure. Okay. So um, I am renting a house in Miami and, um, you know, cause I'm on a one year deal. We'll see what happens. I I'm, I'm hopeful to stay here. Uh, but uh, it's a, it's a, uh, to be fair, it's, it's a theater room of sorts. And uh, I guess I could, I don't really want to move my camera for the, for the, chance that something crazy happens but um there actually you tweet, is you tweeted your setup in the past people can go to your yeah Twitter. yeah i mean there are there are literally stars in the ceiling and shooting stars uh that actually <laughs> go by uh but no i i run a triple triple monitor setup all all asus monitors um uh, i got a pretty pretty jacked up rig um you know for my pc setup which actually i'm working on on a deal uh, with Origin PC down here in Miami, so I'm very excited for that, and um, you know that should that should be finalized soon. I do run uh, a couple of a couple of different cameras. I have an NDI, and then I run a, a second secondary camera, which which is actually the one I'm on, uh, a Logitech that allows me to kind of everyone loves my dog, so I can move that one around and say, oh, there's Coco, everybody, and they they love it. Um, what else? I, I do run a, a Scuff uh, Xbox controller, obviously for the paddle system in the back. Um, They've been great. They they've uh, they've hooked it up before. What else we got here? A uh, simple blue Yeti mic, but it, nice. but it works for me. And uh, that's about it. I oh, I, and then I do because I'm on because I'm playing uh, PC with a controller. I can't like take my hands off the controller to push to talk. So when I'm playing with Goldie or some streamers, you know, to be fair, sorry to my to my friends and my mods, but most of the time I'll just talk to chat and not have to do push to talk. But I but I do have a little foot pedal that allows me to to engage push to talk uh without coming oh, off the nice. controller so oh i should mention a 15 a 15 button uh stream deck also so that allows me to kind of if i'm going to the bathroom boom i just i just hit my war zone highlights that sort of thing so it's pretty um it's pretty well put together i mean i i, I do uh, again i do take this very seriously yeah that's a very elaborate setup you got there it's very impressive so you've been you mentioned that you've been streaming for the last year or so now Mm -hmm. what, what's it been like and what, what games have you been streaming? Yeah. So I started off with Fortnite. Um, to be fair, I got completely hooked on it. You know, honestly, I think it was a challenge because I was always so used to call of duty, which is a first person shooter. And the third person aspect of Fortnite and learning how to build and all those different things, it was fun. And it was a, it was a fun change of pace. Um, so I did stream Fortnite and that's what everybody, everybody wanted to watch, you know? So, that's what I was doing at first. Um, this is when I was in Portland. And, you know, I, I was then traded in Miami. I've now been here uh, for this entire season. And, and this new Call of Duty, I just got to say, uh, Modern Warfare is unbelievable. It, mm -hmm. uh, they did a great, great job with it. The multiplayer is awesome. Um, and then, of course, bringing out Warzone. Um, it's been just uh, another fun change of pace. So I'm a big Call of Duty guy now. And as I mentioned, I always have been. I mean, I grinded hard and got Damascus uh, weapon skin, which is which is not easy. I could say that with confidence. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know that, that's perfecting every weapon in the game, which includes SMGs, assault rifles, riot shield, combat knife, the entire deal. So uh, that was a grind. Um, but again, I, I'm just passionate about it. Um, I've, I've really, really enjoyed building a very fun and authentic community i think that and i know that because people come to my chat and they say wow an nba player that will actually talk to me i always say i'm just a normal guy who happens to play in the nba and i do have a passion for gaming so it's it's a it's a fun um it's a fun way for me to not only relax but again engage with the fans and, and do something i love which is gaming so it's been fun i i do love streaming on switch i can say that with confidence uh, M. Breyer, who's one of our regulars in chat at ESPN Esports, says Damascus is a ridiculous grind. So you're getting a lot of props for this. <laughs> I appreciate it. It, <laughs> it definitely, it definitely was a grind, and 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 there was no oh someone else take over my account. No, no, this was all hammer behind the controller, slaying bodies, getting Damascus. Period. Wow. Uh, Tony Sandoval asks, uh, is there? You mentioned some of the highlights that are coming up on the 24-hour stream. Is there mm. one thing that you're looking forward to the most? 
Wow. Um, great question, Tony. First of all, um, that's actually a buddy of mine. And, you know, it, honestly, at the end of the day, I can say this from the bottom of my heart. This 24 hour live stream is only to impact other people and to raise money to try to feed 1 million people in the month of April. And that's what matters to me. It's great that I have NBA people coming through. It's great that I have, you know, some of my good buddies uh, on Twitch coming through. You know, it'll be funny to see me play a game in a hazmat suit and maybe, you know, there's a guarantee that Myers dyes his hair. That's all awesome. And that's going to be great content. As I said, it's going to be 24 hours of nonstop high level content. But at the end of the day, I simply love to impact people. And because of coronavirus, some people can't go to work. Some people can't feed their family. And that's why I have a goal of feeding 1 million people in the month of April. And uh, this is this 24 hour live stream is what's going to kick it off. Great guy, great cause. Uh, I know a lot of people are looking forward to this. Uh, Tony, actually, your buddy, your pal in the chat uh, also has a question. Did you see Dame's shots? Blame him. Oh, Lord. So this is a funny thing. Um, there's been so many people uh, that come to my stream and say, did you see Dame shot? And most times now I just kind of sit there with this like dumbfounded look. I'll kind of like look away from the camera, look back at the camera and this not either not respond or one of my mods would just say, gee, I wonder if he saw it. Yeah. I was, I was on the trailblazers. Like, yeah, I saw Dame shot. <laughs> so it's like, it's like a joke uh, amongst me and my mods now. So, um, it's, it's a pretty, it's, it's just on a, it's an ongoing thing, but yeah. Uh, of course, I saw Dame shot. I, I've seen many of Dame shots. I mean, Dame putting away OKC last year. Shoo we talk about a wow, thirty-seven foot step back eyeball sandwich for a four-one Portland Trailblazer OKC playoff victory. So I, I want to keep this gaming, but since we're on this topic, like take me into the locker yeah. room after that shot. Like I, I want to know what you guys were talking about. I want to know what Dame was like. Like that was sure. iconic. You know, um, Dame has this um, it factor, so to speak, about him. Cool, calm, collected, most times good or bad. Uh, unbelievable leader, unbelievable teammate, all that. And let me just tell you, if there's a guy that you want to have the ball at the end of the game, it's Dame Lillard. <laughs> I mean, it's his ability to impact the game and then and then take the, the you know, the shot. It's, it's like... I guarantee it's same heartbeat, same everything. Not, nothing, you know, it's it's nothing crazy for him. So in the locker room, man, man, wow. I mean, we were um, obviously uh, pumped, hyped up, all that. But let me just say this. I'll move forward quickly. Uh, I won't make it too long-winded, hopefully. Uh, then we move on to Denver. And the series kept going back and forth, back and forth. We ended up winning a really close game in Portland. And then we had to win a game seven on their floor to go to the Western Conference Finals, and we did. And I had an impact in that game. A, a lot of people had a major impact on our team in that game. And just, you know, if, if I could try to, <laughs> with my voice, um, tell wh whomever is tuned in right now, like the amount of joy on the play, not only the players, but the coaches, our support staff, the just, I'm, I'm literally getting goosebumps talking about it. Um, it was incredible to have a moment like that where we have all worked so hard for so long to now, you know, to win a game like that that was so back and forth and emotional on someone else's floor. Incredible. So we can keep it gaming, but, I, you know, I do love talking sports, so I don't mind. Uh, but, yeah, it's um, I, I had some very, very special memories in, uh, in Portland, and obviously I love it here in Miami. You know, I'm, again, I'm hopeful to stay here, but, yeah, um, you know, I'm, I'm willing to talk about whatever. You know, I, I'm, an, I'm an open book. You said you were on a one-year deal, so you want to stay in Miami? Uh, I'm hopeful to, yeah. You know, you never know what happens with the business of basketball. To be completely honest with you, um, after we won in Denver, uh, we were then playing the Golden State Warriors. Unfortunately, we got swept, uh, but I, that was like kind of a a series breakthrough for me of sorts. You know, I had an impact in, in, in the OKC series and in the Denver series, but then I had a major, major impact. You know, my final game in Portland was on Portland, you know, in Portland uh, against the Warriors, and I had uh, 30 points. I mean, it was it was a crazy night for me personally. Of course, I'm all about winning, and that's all I truly care about. However, that is what honestly probably allowed me to get traded 
but at the same time, I thought I was probably going to stay in Portland. Boom. Now I have a solidified, you know, spot in the rotation. So you just never know how it's going to work. But uh, I do really, really enjoy it here in Miami. Um, the Miami Heat culture is nothing to be taken for granted. You know, people talk about it kind of from the outside, trying to understand it, but it's very real. We do have a conditioning test before the season that is not easy. Um, you know, there's a certain level of professionalism and, um, you know, care that's expected of you every day. And that's what I bring. I really do. I can say that with confidence. Um, every day when I walk through those doors, I'm going to be a positive uh, influence in the locker room, always high energy, um, you know, always working very hard and trying to set the standard because, you know, for example, Jimmy Butler's gotten this absolutely ridiculous narrative that has followed him around. And guess what? <laughs> it's not true. Mm -hmm. Jimmy just needed to be somewhere that appreciated what he's about, which, by the way, at the end of the day, is nothing but winning. He got he, he was frustrated with people that, you know, didn't care about winning. Maybe they were about numbers. Maybe they were, you know, more more interested in what was going on off the floor. Uh, -uh. Jimmy is a winner, period. And so I've loved getting to know Jimmy. Um, we've had many, many um, times where we've just gone to dinner and talked or, you know, hung out. So um, I love it here in Miami. I really do. I do feel that I fit Miami Heat culture very well. Is it concerning? I mean, I don't want this to be too serious, but now that we're in this spectacular, like extraordinary circumstance where the season's on pause and we don't know when it's going to come back, and here you are on an expiring deal at the end of this season, right? Like, yeah, is that unsettling at all? Like, just the uncertainty of everything? You know what? Um, I always say this. Number one, to me, everything in, in life happens for a reason. You know, I'll, I'll quickly touch on the fact that in my fifth season, uh, not to make it too uh, – emotional or something here, but I, I went through depression and anxiety. It was a very, very difficult time in my life. And I, you know, didn't understand what was going on. Um, I was upset all the time. I wasn't playing, but here I had millions of dollars in my pocket, you know, big house, beautiful wife, everything, you know, playing in the NBA for crying out loud and none of that mattered. And so uh, I always say that now because of those moments, I am the man and player that I am today. And it was a perfect situation for me to come here to Miami. So on top of that, I don't I don't care about money. Does, does money make some things in life easier? Yeah, sure. I don't have to worry about anything really financially. My wife and I take care of our money and we, you know, we invest in the right ways and, you know, we're, we're set for our future. So the money is not an uh, it doesn't really impact me. It's more I'm ready. You know, whenever the NBA can come back and everyone can be safe doing so, I'm excited for it. Um, you know, do I, of course, want to sign? A contract after this year absolutely do i think that's going to happen absolutely uh but at the at this moment it's more about everyone being safe and you know figuring out you know where this is headed but do i feel any sort of um uh, am i uneasy no no i'm not uh, you know again i have a, an amazing wife um we're building our own brands and uh our, our company level foods which by the way is the best protein bar in the market uh i'll send you some we'll talk after this great um they are uh, I, my wife is, you know, everything is just aligned, man. And I, I'm so thankful for everything that has come my way, but to, you know, on the whole, I am not worried one bit. I just want to play basketball and have fun and, 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 and do my thing. So, you know, it'll, it'll come when it comes. There's a lot of speculation on what the leagues will even look like if, and when they return. And we obviously don't have a timeline. The mm -hmm. NHL, for example, there's been talk about every team making the playoffs and making a different format just for this season, just to be able to play the season out. Uh -huh. If it were up to you, and I'm just asking your opinion here, sure. how would you play out the rest of the NBA season, if at all? Yeah, so here's, uh, you know, there's been hypotheticals thrown around, you know, do we go to Vegas? Do we go to some remote location where there's one gym and we play a playoffs, you know, and what have you? The most interesting bit of information that I've kind of, piece together would be basically everything in the East is actually set. You know, it's, it's pretty cut and dry who's in what seed and, you know, one through eight in the West, the eight spot is really the only thing that is up for grabs, so to speak. So NBA players do need time to not only practice, but to get in quote unquote game shape and to play a couple of games. So if it were, I'm of course, this is all based upon hypotheticals and sure. the fact that everyone would be you know safe from the virus and everything. But I would say that it would be fair to maybe have, I don't know, five games, both East and West. You know, you figure out the schedule, figure out, you know, how do you how do you shake the eight spot loose and figure out who, the, who that is there? 
but then, then in the East, you know, you have five games, kind of get players' legs back under and everything, and then then if, if it were up to me, you go right to playoffs. That's ultimately, of course, what everyone wants to see. That's why players play. They play for a championship. You know, we I grind all off season. You know, I maybe take two weeks off after the year, and then boom, I'm I'm right in the grind mode. You know, that's that's just who I am, and so. I would think that we would need at least, you know, five games or so to kind of get our legs under us and then boom, right into playoffs and, you know, figure out who's the champ. You know, that's that's, again, why we play and you never know what's going to happen. But uh, that's that's where my, you know, kind of basketball and, and, and thinking mind would take me. There's also rumors that there might be a game of televised horse, even possibly on ESPN. <laughs> Do you want to be involved in this, Myers? You know, uh, no, I'll stick to, <laughs> you I'll don't. Stick to no, I, I'll stick to streaming on Twitch. You know, that's, that's my entertainment platform for right now. Um, number one, number two, I don't have a hoop in my house. Some of these guys do. I did okay. in Portland, but, um, you know, maybe, maybe my wife can do it. She can literally shoot with two hands and like, she sat at the elbow one day and knocked down, I think five straight, missed a six, made the seven, something like that without looking. So she's a genius when it comes to like creating fun ways to make trick shots. I mean, it's blown up all over Twitter and Instagram over the last um, one or two years. Yeah, it's super impressive. If you haven't checked it out, go to Meyer's Twitter account. The videos are there and Al's as well. Uh, let's get back to your stream, though. Uh, yep. You're going to be predominantly playing Warzone Call of Duty as part mm -hmm. of your 24-hour stream. Yep. And we have seen the pictures on your Twitter account, uh -huh. the best NBA player playing COD, right? Uh -huh. At the end of the day, people want to see good gameplay, Myers. Of so course. tell us, how good is the hammer at Call of Duty? You know what? So here's what I'll say. You know, people have asked me, well, could you be a pro? Well, the answer is no, not right now, certainly. Because here's why. You know, they say it takes 10,000 hours of practice at something to whatever, perfect it. Um, you know, when I talk, I've, I've also, I'll say it, I don't mind. You know, I talked to Phase Replays, Franco, my buddy. I said, hey, how much do you play? Like, obviously, you play on stream, but do you play off stream? He's like, oh, yeah, 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 I'm always, you know, in creative, working on my builds and everything. I said, okay, what's an average day? So I'm probably 10 to 12 hours minimum. And I was like, wow, I mean, that is crazy. So we're talking about a high-level pro who understands that, you know, for example, Booga won the solos last year, and what, he win, three million bucks? Mm -hmm. You know, so I, it's funny. He was telling the story of, like, well, my parents were upset with me for playing so many video games. Well, now, now I'm a... A millionaire so my point is is am i pro level no uh am i a, a very good call of duty player i do think so um i'll, I'll say this though um in, in weeks one and two of our nba call of duty tournament uh i feel i was the mvp ben simmons got a week one i think i was snubbed uh all the stats prove it more xp more kills less deaths the whole thing and by the way we won and we got snubbed on that too <laughs> week week two i absolutely obliterated the competition there's no other way to put it um but last night, uh, if you were to check out the VOD, or I could just I could just be honest with you here, uh, I took a bit of an ass whooping. My team did, anyways. Um, Devin Booker uh, was on with uh, Ben Simmons, uh, Zeno, who is a former Optic player, and uh, Josh Hart. And I'm trying to think of who else was on that team. Anyways, uh, Devin Booker is really good. He is really really good. Ben Simmons is very good. Darren Fox is very good, and uh, Grayson Allen. I think. I, I, I don't know that I've gone on record, so I'll go on record right now to say that no order. I think that it, it would be myself, Devin Booker, uh, De'Aaron Fox, Grayson Allen, and Ben Simmons. And it's, a, you know, maybe a toss-up from there. Maybe maybe one guy's a little better than the other. But I would say that's the top five Call of Duty players. But, uh, you know, I'll still take the crown for now. You know, but Devin <laughs> is very good. He played for the first time last night and I, I gotta say he is very good at call of duty i i thought you were gonna take that more into a pro wrestling approach and cut a promo about how good you are um <laughs> get into hammer mode that's what i was that's that's why well, i asked it that way i was thinking fair well listen listen that's why i said i'll take the crown brother and listen <laughs> listen when i when i get locked in now you, you that there, there's there's another level of of intense that comes out uh, I, I don't want to, you know, there's, there's no blaming on, on the teams. There's no, none of that. Sometimes you have to take defeat and roll with it. But however, make no mistake about it. The hammer is the number one NBA player on call of duty period. 
That's what we were going for. Well done. That's that's the social clip we put on. Uh, yeah, that, that's later. the clickable exactly. content. Well done. well done. Clip that, somebody. Clip that. Uh, <laughs> Ghost6545, and, and you may have already answered this, but maybe this is more of a your team chemistry uh, kind of question. If you had to get a win in Warzone, which of your NBA friends would you invite to your squad? Oh, man. Okay. So we're talking trios, I assume. Yes. Okay, trios. Uh, it would have to be Devin Booker. And um, I've never seen Grayson play Warzone, only multiplayer. Who else have I seen play Warzone? Um, oh, I, you know, I think I would go, I would go Devin Booker and Ben Simmons hmm. and the Hammer trio. I mean, well, we would be wrecking havoc, brother. I'm talking slaying bodies. I'm talking, I'm getting in the Mack truck, by the way. Fire station, count me in. I'm dropping on the Mack truck. I'm laying the horn. Right stick is constantly <laughs> clicking. The hammer is coming. I mean, I have plenty of clips. Listen, just obliterating the competition. You know, don't get in front of the the hammer Mack truck now because it's. Listen, we're gonna roll. We're gonna roll probably two Mack trucks and a rover. You know, three vehicles jumping out, smashing the Let's opponents, go. popping out. Ooh, he's trying to use self revive. Nope. <laughs> MP7 night night. Good try. That Mack truck is so OP in that game, man. Oh, yeah, it's so OP. Oh, it's, it's crazy. I love yeah, just can... running over fools. Oh, it's it's fantastic. We'll do it today, as a matter of fact. Um, yeah, it's, um, Yeah, you can't take it out with an R. Well, two RPGs will take it out, but uh, RPG is very OP, by the way, also. Yeah, agreed. Uh, Danny24 in the chat asks, how many wins do you have in the Gulag? A lot. Danny knows this. Danny, Danny's a big uh, supporter in my streams. Okay. Um, big supporter of me on the on, on the basketball floor, and uh, I got so I got some dirty clips from uh, from the Gulag. Now the other day, boom, boom, I sweep through. I see the weasels hiding in the back. I hit a quick one eighty. He's not in the left. I look right. He tries to he tries to turn the corner. Boom! Hit fire. Night, night. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. So your strategy is to rush. You're not patient. You don't uh, wait. You don't well, wait in the it, shadows. It depends, it depends on the. Um, no, 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 no. Never. Uh, okay. It depends on the uh, on the weaponry, of course. Okay. Uh, I, I I do have to admit though, it was with the 357 Magnum, and I hate being in the gulag with that damn thing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very annoying. You know, there's there's no speed. There's no aggressive hammer component to it, so that's really dumb. But that's why with that weapon, I'm like, screw it. If I get smoked, I get smoked. And if I if I hit the 180, boom, I turn the corner, blow, get him out of here. Uh. Let's shift games for just a second because okay. as we talk, even later today on ESPN2, uh, we're going to air the NBA 2K Players Tournament. Uh, the next set of matches are coming up. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of your teammates, D Derek Jones Jr., Ooh, had a big upset. Wait. Yeah, did you watch? Uh, that, that wasn't an upset, brother. No, 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 no. No, it wasn't. No, this is Miami. Point to the brackets, it was, though. Wrong answer. This is Miami Heat <laughs> culture pride right here, okay? Derek Jones Jr. is nice at 2k we've had many a conversation i don't myself play 2k i play 2k in real life so i'm not interested um you know i've probably played five or less games in my entire life in 2k i'd rather slay bodies so anyways uh derek is is very good at 2k and i fully anticipate he's going to make a cinderella run okay you heard it here first derek jones is very very good at 2k also known as airplane mode. My man can jump probably from half court and dunk like Michael and in, in, in Space Jam. Okay. He, he's going to wreak havoc on the competition just as the hammer does on Call of Duty. Very impressive. He was the 16th seed going in facing Kevin Whoa. Durant round one. And no one knew how good Kevin was at this game. There were always rumors that he was really good. And then all of a sudden, here comes Derek Jones Jr. Just absolutely dominates. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, that's... that's you know, that, that's underdog mentality, brother. You know, <laughs> every now and then people think at the top, oh, uh, this is going to be an easy one. Well, you thought wrong, brother, because you're you're gone. Did you uh, did you watch any of the tournament? And I ask this because in another matchup, uh, Zach Levine was playing as the Heat mm -hmm. and uh, he took a lot of shots with uh, pixelized Myers Leonard from well beyond the arc. I don't know if you caught that. Uh, I, I I was mentioned in a, in a few tweets and such, and and some of my mods who are of course always up with the with the gaming world uh, had told me that he said something about I got a clip. Well, let me just tell you, I do have a clip. Seven foot sniper, make you know, make no doubt about it. Um, and I, I I haven't tuned in if I'm being honest. I, I I will watch Derek in the upcoming events. You know, I do feel bad that I missed round one, but uh, 
Yeah. I, it's not really – I would rather, to be fair, stream on Twitch and interact with my fans than I would sit sit and watch somebody play 2K. To be honest, that'd be annoying as hell. I'd rather watch, I don't know, paint dry. Fair enough. Well, your 24-hour stream is coming up. Like we said, it's going to start today. It's going to end tomorrow. 24 straight hours, Myers Leonard doing it for a fantastic cause, and Call of Duty Warzone is going to be at the center of it. You did mention you're going to switch to Fortnite as well at mm -hmm. some point, so there's going to be a lot of variety. Uh, what are the uh, donation goals? Can you uh, give us some of the donation goals that you're working on? Uh, in terms of like hitting certain milestones? Yeah, exactly, the milestones. So overall, through the month of April which I mentioned earlier, today's 24 hour live stream. And then I'm, I can't really give you specifics on the events moving forward, but every yeah. Sunday for the rest of the month will also be another war zone NBA type event, maybe a pro-am at some point. And it's all to raise $175,000. If I can do it today, great. You never know. I do think there are some pretty cool milestones. I think there's cool incentives in that's integrated into my stream um, on the donation platform where people can go and say like, again, Myers dyes his hair orange or pink or blue or green. Or if we get to 175K, I'm shotgunning a beer on stream, which would be light work. That's not even a problem. Um, uh, what else? Uh, we got Myers does 100 curls. We got Myers plays in a hazmat suit. I don't know if you know. I don't, I don't excuse How me. How much weight for the 100 curls? Sorry, just in, interject there. Um, you know, let me just, let's just have a little interactive deal here. Let's just, let's just pull this up. It's only fair. Okay. okay we're just going to pull this up here. Um, I feel like anything below 30 pounds would be easy work for you for 100 curls at a time. Well, you know, that is honestly the weight I picked. So nice. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. That's that's pretty impressive, to be honest, that, that wow. you just said that. So let's see. Right here, boom. Some of the giveaways. Uh, we got some phase stuff. We got Xbox One X consoles. We got Astro A50. We got Astro A40. Uh, milestones, boom. We got Myers takes a shot of something disgusting. Not really looking forward to that, but I'll do it. <laughs> Um, that's it. 500 bucks, $1,000. Myers will crush a pint of ice cream light work. By the way, quick story. Um, I had a groomsman of, of, of a good buddy of mine who was getting married say, Oh, I can eat ice cream faster than you, Myers. I said, okay, buddy, sure thing. Smashed him. Absolutely destroyed him. It was all over the internet. He, he, he was put to shame. I ripped my shirt off. Not sure why I did it. It was, it went viral. Um, eat, Myers eats a raw egg at 2,500, uh, 5,000. Uh, there will be three options, uh, teddy bear and a couple other options for my wife, who's a pretty decent artist, uh, to draw on my body somewhere. Um, Myers will do 100 curls at $10,000. Myers will do at $15,000 a TikTok dance. Not looking forward to that. I have no rhythm in my, in my body. Um, uh, Myers will play Call of Duty in a hazmat suit. That will be hot as shit because <laughs> this, this, this room gets so hot. Uh, Myers will sing country karaoke. Also not looking forward to that. I do have a deep voice. I do have a powerful voice. However, I do not know how to sing and I wish it was a talent I had. Uh, $75,000. Myers will dye his hair. Um, uh, we're, we're kind of, to be fair, uh, again, I'm, a, I'm an honest guy. We're looking, maybe, maybe your chat, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe my Instagram, maybe somebody in my chat, once I start, will give me a hundred thousand dollar milestone, $125,000 milestone. And then again, at, at, uh, 175 Myers will shotgun a beer on stream. Uh, so again, Maybe we'll hit it today. Who knows? Uh, I've heard that these things can catch wildfire and, and go nuts. I hope that's the case. Who knows? Uh, but that's that's some of the stuff we got going on. What else we got? Uh, we got um, we got boxes of level bars. Uh, nice. What else we got? Uh, we we got some of my old throwback jerseys off of my brand website. A couple of hats, and then I, I let's see. Uh, follow, follow on IG. So many people ask for that. It's not something I typically do. But for this, uh, I will be doing an epic cheat meal breakfast tomorrow. So, uh, so that's uh, that's something. Um, drink a beer with Myers on IG Live. Uh, I mean, we got. Oh, listen, that's we, a good one. Oh, I, I well, yeah. There's a lot of people that would love to see. Share that. Yeah, I mean, we got we got a lot of stuff going on here, brother. This is trust me. This has been we're talking ironed out. We're talking we're talking high level focus on what we got going on here for 24 straight hours. This is this is no oh 10 minute break for Myers. No, ain't happening. <laughs> ain't happening i love that i love that you're just going straight on yeah through. And, and then here we got the schedule you know we got we got nba war we got Warzone with friends we got fortnite duos uh with franco this is not an order by the way i am going to do sub customs which is something i have not done on call of duty yet i think that's uh you know it'll be a very fun way for me to interact with people who subscribe to the channel um an ama with my wife about our level foods company uh, another check-in with you guys tomorrow Yep. Uh, more Call of Duty. I mean, 
Listen, I'm looking forward to I'm looking forward to uh, seeing the like doing this interview now, but then also your state in the interview tomorrow that we do. I'm very <laughs> curious to compare the Myers Leonard's of t- right. right now and tomorrow. Fair enough. What else? <laughs> I, the, oh, the scary game is definitely something people have asked me about about a million times. Have you picked the game? I have not. I'm open okay. to suggestions. Um, I hate being scared, especially on like a screen. So that's going to be weird. And then also, I do have a special segment of FaceTimes with NBA players. So I think people will really look forward to that. I FaceTimed Tyler Hero once, and uh, my chat freaked out. So um, that'll be fun. So, yeah, we got a lot going on, man. Uh, That's awesome. uh, A special shout-out to Twitch. I believe I'm going front page. That's going to be nuts. Like, So I'm thankful, man. I really, really am. I can say that. Someone in the uh, someone on Twitter actually asked this question. You mentioned FaZe Clan a couple times there. Yep. Uh, they'd like to know what is the relationship with Myers Leonard and FaZe Clan? Yeah. So I um, this is actually, you know, I don't want to bring up something negative, but I wore a Tifu jersey who at the time was with FaZe. I tagged Turner and I tagged uh, FaZe Clan. It was walking into an NBA game and they're one of the let's just say one of their business ops guys reached out to me said yo you like phase i was like yeah of course you know i'm a big gamer you know and so uh basically it started from there then we started messaging uh long story short my wife and i have since invested a, a decent pretty decent amount of money into phase and uh i am phase hammer i am actually a part of the quote-unquote content team i'm not a pro gamer i'm none of that um you know they're, it's not like they're pushing me all over their socials but uh, i do enjoy that title i guess because you know phase is on top of the world uh, they are the best esports team in the world, period. And uh, yeah, so, you know, I've been, a, again, I've been a part of their fight to fund um, COVID-19 relief effort tournament the last, uh, how many weeks? It's two or three weeks already. So that, that's that been fun to be a part of. But yeah, I am, I you know, I, I'm buddies with a lot of those guys. Um, again, I'm going to play with uh, Dirty and Testament on Warzone. I'm going to play with Franco, which is replays, um, duos on Fortnite. And uh, maybe maybe some other phase guys in there in the 24 hours at some point. Certainly, probably, hopefully at the end of the month when we got more of a pro am set up. But that's that's to come. You know, that's all hypotheticals at this time. So let let I'm actually very curious hearing you. I, I love talking with athletes who are genuine gamers, right? Oftentimes, you see athletes dabble into gaming maybe because it helps the brand or whatever. With you, they're you faking the funk. General. Yeah. That you, it's just very genuine. You can tell that even if you weren't streaming, you'd be gaming. But mm-hmm. streaming just happens to be part of the package, right? And and yep. I love to see that. And I'm and in chat loves to see that as well. So t- take me into the season though. Like when you're obviously your job is number one, but like how yep. much gaming do you get to do yeah. during an NBA season? Okay, so here's what I'll say. I always game. Um, that's that's like my recovery, one of my recovery modalities. Literally, let me just tell you. This thing, as many people know, can be a very big hassle. That would be my cell phone. Um, <laughs> if I'm being honest, I, I'm constantly getting hit up. You know, I need something. I want something. I need your advice. I need whatever. You know, that it just comes with the territory of, you know, being an NBA player and having people that want things from you. So it's kind of a way for me to unplug from the NBA lifestyle. And it's, it's a very calming thing for me. Now, I do rage occasionally because <laughs> I get pissed at the game. But uh, gaming is a, is a passion of mine. And so... With the streaming element, I do have to admit, when I got here to Miami, like you said, my job is number one. And I didn't want it to seem that I was unfocused because I was starting and I will start every game this year uh, if and when I come back and am am available to play. And so, you know, there's a fine line. You know, if there's two days off, boom, maybe I'll maybe I'll crank in a stream. But, you know, the night before a game would be tough, you know, because I want them to know that I'm, I'm locked in. So. Uh, I am thankful for all of the very loyal people who have stuck with me from the Portland days all the way over to the Miami days, because to be, again, uh, when I first got here, I wasn't streaming very much. I did my best and, you know, the loyal supporters have stayed. I think that my channel has grown um, exponentially ever since the uh, NBA hiatus of sorts and the social distancing has happened around the world. And so it's been fun, again, to build a, a unique and authentic community. And, you know, it's nice to get compliments, I guess, from people in the space for example cypher pk totally unprovoked talking about athletes jumping to esports well who do you think has done a good job and he he said me you know i think he he has he actually has transitions and he actually has multiple scenes and highlights and he talks to his chat so it is a very real thing and a very real passion of mine and not only game but to interact with fans um 
not only about gaming, but about life and the NBA, like they should feel comfortable to come in my chat and ask whatever they want. Are you primarily a PC guy or are you bringing consoles on the road? Like what's your, what, what does that look like? Uh, PC guy. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I thought about trying to figure out a mobile setup, but it's not worth it. Uh, to be honest, I, I watch Twitch. <laughs> Uh, oh, I watch I watch other people if I'm on the road. If I've let's say I, I've gone to dinner, I've had dinner, I watch my film for the for the for the next night of our opponent, and then boom, I'll just watch Twitch. You know, I'll watch a lot of four, uh, excuse me, a lot of Call of Duty right now. But I, I do like watching Turner. I like I like watching uh, Franco. You know, I, I like I like dabbling in and supporting those guys. So um, I, I again, this is not this is no joke for me. I am on Twitch uh, very often, even if I'm not playing. Uh, I'm watching. Are you a fan at all of the Call of Duty League? Like, do you ever uh, dabble into esports e itself? You know, that is admittedly one thing I really want to start to get into more. Um, I have not a ton, you know, and I, I'm not ashamed to say that. You know, it's just the reality of, of the situation. You know, my time goes towards either my NBA career, my wife, or streaming, and mm -hmm. so I haven't really found a way to to dive into it but i but i do want to you know i i do want to i think being immersed as much as you can uh on the streaming side on the esports like everything is is important so I, I want people to know that this is not some um you know athlete trying to come in and invade the space it's definitely very much a passion of mine yeah i don't think anyone's thinking that when they think the hammer My myers leonard uh yeah. we should get you a florida mutineers jersey of course florida represented in the call of duty league i feel like that's like a natural thing Get Myers Leonard a Florida Mutineers jersey. Uh, yeah, or you know Atlanta Phase either for Florida Mutineers or Atlanta Phase since you have the Phase connection. Yeah, and you got the Florida geographical connection. It's almost like they got a battle for your love, Myers. Who, which team loves Myers Leonard the Hammer more? <laughs> you know what? I actually got tagged in some uh, some of the Florida Mutineers stuff, and then of course also the Atlanta Phase stuff. So. Uh, I don't know. Like, that's a tough one. To, that's who a tough am I supposed one. to have? I'm not going to ask you to pick. I'm not going to ask you to pick because that's a very tough. That's like choosing between children, I guess, in a way. But uh, I feel like the phase would push harder though because you're on the roster. So I think you Probably. might have to be an Atlanta fan on that one. I mean, yeah, on my tw on my Twitch, if you see like at the bottom, like I am a part of the phase team. Like it's. Yeah. It's not, you know, this is not, uh, oh, Meyer says he's a part of phase. Mm -mm, the hammer is a part the, of phase. Yeah, I think that's the, the answer then. Atlanta phase all the way then. That's okay. it. We, we got our answer. There you go. There you go. With all due respect to the mutineers. Uh, let me ask you this. This is this I found very interesting. So you and Elle, your wife, gave out your cell phone numbers. We did. We did. And then you got flooded. To say the <laughs> least. So I actually just have like general curiosity questions about giving out your cell phone when you are a well-known athlete. Okay. What was the funniest text you got that you read? You know what? Most of it is um, is actually people that are very interested in sports or gaming and um, – you know, everything that's going on in my life. Cause I do ask very, um, I guess, I guess kind of a blanket statement and then people can allow me to understand them better. Um, I don't know that I've really had funny ones. Most people actually, you know, again, I'm about impact. And so they're wanting this kind of mor morning motivation or they're wanting to know about the heat or gaming or when are you going live next on Twitch? So I haven't really, um, and to be fair, I haven't sifted through everything. I mean, I'm, I, I have, upwards of 4,500 text messages to reply to. Wow. So that's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot of people. Are you, um, were you concerned at all that like someone would just keep blowing up your phone even after you were done responding to messages? Uh, yes. Um, <laughs> I have since found a way to kind of allow myself to sift through everything and not be so overwhelmed. But I, again, the reason for it was because we, my wife and I really do care about people mm -hmm. and I think it's a very unique way to connect and we're doing our best again to reply to literally everybody and so uh, that that's why we did it who got more texts you or your wife what do you think i'm gonna say she got more texts nope good try i'm an NBA <laughs> athlete honestly at first I, I my pride was such that i was like damn my wife's pretty good looking she can shoot trick shots she's funny uh actually, also she, she was the star of the looking. video that you guys put out too no offense but she, well, I she think she stole is. the show in that video, so I thought maybe she'd get more text messages. She always does. She's hilarious. I mean, it's 24-7 <laughs> in-home entertainment for me. Uh, I but no, I, it, it was me. <laughs> I, at first, I was like, damn, my wife actually might get more texts. And that's like a weird pride thing, I guess. But I don't really give a damn at the same time. So, no, I got – I mean, I, I think four, five, six, seven, eight times more.
Did you get any blast from the past texts? Like maybe somebody that you fell out of touch with, a friend from high school or something like that? I got plenty of those high school people, um, pictures of me at University of Illinois with, you know, this young kid that now is, you know, a teenager or whatever, you know, so it's, it's been pretty crazy to see some of the, some of the replies. And a lot of it, again, is, is more centered around Myers. Like, thank you so much for who you are. Thank you for your willingness to even, um, you know, share and uh, allow for people to connect to you almost on an even more personal level than social media, which it really is, you know, and it is, it is me. It legitimately is. This is no lie. So, uh, so yeah, it's been, it's been fun to see kind of some of the stuff coming in, you know, where I met you, how I influenced you, how I impacted you. It's, it's been a lot of fun. Again, it's, it's ultimately about, about others, not me. I, I learned that a long time ago. This life is not about, about me. It's, it never has been. It never will be. I'm the blue collar guy who wants to take care of everybody else. That's, that's really, really cool. Eric Dills uh, has a question for you in chat says, what is the best flavor of level bar? Oh, wait, no need to ask because it's salted brownie. Is that a my guy, system? Eric? Yeah, he's he's a regular in the chat. Um, my favorite is salted brownie. Um, that would be one a one B would be banana bread. Uh, very, very good. And then also, I mean, it depends on the mood, but oh, oh, our oatmeal cookie bar is unbelievable, too. Um, and then we're coming out uh, with a new flavor. Uh, some sometime soon can't drop all the details, but I can tell you this. Um, we have done a, um, uh, how do I say this? A, uh, we, we, we launched an idea of sorts that we did three bars free. You okay. can quite literally pay $1 for shipping and try all three of our flavors, but that is a subscription based system. The thought being, when someone tries our bars, they generally don't run away. They're like, wow, uh, you guys weren't lying. These are the, like, these are unbelievable. High level ingredients, uh, you know, non GMO, uh, non dairy, you know, no artificial sugars, the whole thing. I mean, they're, it's kind of like the best way to put it for you is Whole Foods meets GNC. It tastes very good and it also has very good ingredients. Most times you have to sacrifice one or the other. Mm -hmm. And w listen, point blank, hammer mentality, we're at the top of the game, brother. We're just going to continue to grow. But, you know, we have over a thousand subscribers. We're incredibly thankful for everyone. And we do feel as though it's very unique. For example, if you were a subscriber, you got a Zoom link. My wife and I had a, had a happy hour uh, last week with, with as many subscribers as, one, as, as, as wanted to come. And we sat there and drank wine and asked people what their goals were for 2020. Let me tell you, I MC the entire thing because I'm, I'm used to streaming on Twitch. But it went unbelievable. Like so many people were so thankful to just be in personal contact with my wife and I. And we had no issue with it. It's not like, oh, we feel invaded. No, no, this is who we are. We we want to impact others, but we're also thankful for you supporting our brand. So boom, there it is. This is my last question for you because I know you got to go. Uh -huh. And I know you're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Mm -hmm. You are Myers Leonard. You are known as the hammer. Yes, sir. Which makes you an authority on all things hammer. So what I would like to do if you will indulge me and have as much fun with this as you want. Roger. I want you to give us a definitive ranking of the following hammers. Beautiful. Hit me. Number one, legendary baseball player, Hank the Hammer Aaron. Whoa. Number two, MC Hammer. <laughs> Number three, legendary WWE wrestler, Greg the Hammer Valentine. Okay. Arm and Hammer. Yep. And number five, this hammer. Okay. Um, was Thor not in there? It's kind of awkward. Thor is now number six. You are correct. Thor is number six. Okay. Well, Thor is one. Okay. Um, oh, I get tagged in so much of this. I would say MC Hammer because of the popularity and uh, how many different gifts and songs and everything I get tagged in from MC Hammer. And then I got to go sports. I got to go Hammer and Hank Aaron. I mean, we're talking about a man that just... <laughs> wrecked havoc on pitchers i mean this is this is what being the hammer is brother you know the hammer is reliable okay you put you pull a hammer out of a toolbox what's it going to do it's going to smash something or it's going to nail something okay that's why hammer and hank boom whack that sob out of the park get it out of here get him out of here um who else we got we got we got the we got the wrestler we got the hammer in your hand and what else arm and hammer Ooh, arm and hammer is a classic uh i 
I was, you know what? I feel bad for you. We'll, we'll go with the hammer in your hand because okay. uh, considering the position you're in, you know, you do a great job with, with your interviews. And today we're going to hammer people in war zone. So, so we're going to go, we're going to go there, the hammer in your hand. And then we're going to go, um, we're going to go kind of uh, a tie at the end there. Arm and hammer is, is certainly a, a very well-known classic and, and very staple brand. Okay, and then we got we got the uh, the hammer, Mister Wrestler, uh, WWF of sorts, I suppose. All right, we got to go. Uh, your stream is about to start, so we're gonna let you go. You're gonna be on for 24 hours, and we're gonna join you tomorrow. Myers, have an amazing time. You're doing it for a great cause. Everybody, head on over to Twitch.tv/slash Myers Leonard and watch him right now. Enjoy, my friend. I appreciate you. Thanks for having me on.